I was dancing. This girl really wanted me, and then she ripped my shirt, like my dress shirt. <laughs> so just abs were popping out. His V was popping out. <laughs> Do a Joker laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you been to the gay strip club? Yeah, I had a t-shirt that said, kiss me, I'm Indian, and I got kissed by a guy. Yo, Yo. wait, you don't know the juicer's pockets? No, sorry. NPC TikTok live people. I seem so good. Yes, yes, yes. Gang, gang. Do what you want. Get your money, man. But like, have you ever been in a fight? Yeah. We bumped into each other and I dropped his book and he pushed me. I got punched in the face. I lost. Now I'm 35. I'm not Will Smith who slaps. Yo. <laughs> Welcome back to the Juicer's podcast. It's episode. I always forget, bro. Never remember the episode number. This another? is episode 44. Episode 44. And you know, this is more of a boys pod, but you already know we have the one and only TikTok legend. legend. Local legend. If you're not from Surrey, he's a Surrey legend. I, I feel like almost everyone knows him. And if you are from Surrey and you don't know him, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? I, I didn't know before, but I got put on. I was I was late to the party. You know what I mean? I, I apologize for that right off the bat. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> but uh, I'm an OG. Let me, let me give you my proper introduction. I wrote this down. Local legend. If you don't know him, he makes TikToks and attracts people by just being genuine, funny, and having a costume fetish on the low. Yes, I do. <laughs> some, would even, some would even call you, you know, a furry at that point. What's a furry? <laughs> I don't even you know, know what a furry is. How do you guys not know what I'm a furry uncultured. is? I'm uncultured. What's a what furry? You, what you mean? Like the, you know oh, those, the weirdos, oh. those weird people who like dress up in costumes, but like with animal costumes, with the tails and stuff. Uh-huh. Do you know what that yes, is? Yes, I know what that is. Yeah, so you don't do that, but I'm just playing around. No yeah, problem, man. no problem. We brought him on because, you know, I thought it'd be nice and fun, you know? 100%, so. man. We got local Surrey legend. I've been watching, I've seen you, you've been making TikToks for like what, a while now, like two, three 2020 years. 2020, I started. 2020, like during COVID? Yeah, yeah I think, I think like during COVID, like a lot of guys started like popping up in Surrey, man. Like Coach, that was like when Coach popped up on my For You page for the first time. That was the first Sun time. Sun popped up on my For You page for the first time. That was the first time I ever made like a random ass TikTok. Like that. Yeah, you popped yeah. that TikTok up, yo. It was like 2020 going into 2021. It was like a, I use a toilet paper roll as like a tunnel to like, I don't know. It was like some random TikTok. But it was pretty shit. Yo, before we get into it, let's pop, up, let's pop this Rebel. We've, everyone, I swear. I'll give it to you. I got you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, we don't have the best seating here for a guest today. <laughs> no, no. If you want to move the mic, you, you can just move it around. It's pretty free. Okay. Like sorry. Is it but, electric? Huh? Is it electric? What do you mean? The macro my good thingy is electric. Like, if I spill it, then no, oh, no, 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 nothing will okay. nothing, that won't happen. It will spill like that. Okay, yo, I mean, you're supposed to do it in the mic, but it's all right. Okay, <laughs> I'll just do it like this. So it's already been done. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's okay, right. it's not that right, you go next, you go next. I'll make up for it. Mine's gonna be crazy. That was not bad, not, not bad. Let's get, let's get this one going real quick. Boom, quick one, just to indicate that I'm trying to get, get, this get the feeling out real quick. You know, I'm get trying to get this caffeine as well. Mm. Sanju, bro, you've been hitting the gym. I just want to talk about that for like one mm -hmm. second because we all been on the gym grind. You've been off the gym though recently. Why? Why did you stop going to the gym? I've been looking for a gym. Like Sun God is expensive, 60 bucks, mm. like 68 bucks a month. And Damn. I've been looking around like gyms. Good Life is, I think, 60 something. And then uh, Cave is somewhere 60 something. And... I'm dying to work out because, like, where should I put this? Here you go. You just put it here, or you could even, yeah, yeah. There you go. I'll just put it there. there. You go. Yeah. And I'm gonna confess, I started working out in 2010. My big brother suggests it's very healthy, and because I love to work out, and I yeah. do. And I'm gonna confess, I there are days when I'm very depressed and I'm fed up with my life, and I go to the gym straight and work out and work out like crazy for one hour, and I feel great. And do you do you ever like go into the gym like you feel completely down? And you come out, you feel like a brand new person. I feel like a brand new person. Is that like, like the best feeling ever? Best, best ever feeling ever. You know? And I think I can see my abs too. Like it's starting to come out. Yeah, right? but, and then you start seeing results. <laughs> do you do abs? Yeah, I, I never do abs. Like I used abs, to do abs. Right? I do abs, and but they say diet uh, like you know abs are made in the kitchen. Right? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. like, percent. Like, you could do That's abs all you want, but that fat on top that we all got, it'll just <laughs> yeah, like cover bro. the abs it's up. You know? The up fat too. ain't going nowhere if you don't eat good, man. Yo, man, the weekend's been going. The weekend's been going crazy. The weekend's been going too crazy, man. Yeah. When you like, birthday, you go out, you go out for a restaurant. You have like one burger. Yeah, you have like a coke. We gotta mention beer. that it's Sunju's birthday as well, though. Oh, oh my god, happy bro. Birthday. Happy Everyone birthday. drop a happy birthday in the comments right now. Thank you. How old are you, Sanju? For the 35. people who don't know, thirty-five, big thirty-five. You know, say what year did you grad? Uh, graduated. I feel very old. Uh, Two thousand seven. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. That's not that long ago. Two thousand seven is <laughs> not that long ago. Well, if you think about it. He's, he's lying, man. That was a while 16? ago. Let's be honest. Man. Wait, really? 2007 yeah. doesn't sound like 16 years ago, bro. 16, yeah. What's 16 plus 7? Is that 23? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Talk, oh, everything was, was different. iPhones yeah. weren't even there back then. So, yeah. yeah. That's kind of wild because you graduated in 2007. I was born in 2004. Wow. 
I'm, I'm old enough to your big brother, so yeah. yeah not your uncle. Big brother, my big brother, unk, your unk. Oh, not okay. uncle, grandpa, or anything. <laughs> you fill all the roles, eh? Oh, yeah. unk, man, well, good? so you, okay, I want to say real quick. We used to, we go to Sun God here and there sometimes. I haven't gone in a while, but sometimes we'll go there to go like the hot tub and stuff and we'll get a workout there. We've seen you there before. Yes. We've wait, I've never seen Sun Wait, what I saw you there one time and I was going to come say what's up, but then you ended up leaving. I was like, oh shit. Because I, I was doing like a set in the corner and I turned around for a sec and then turned back around mm-hmm. and you were gone. So I've seen you there. Do you be hitting leg day or do you skip leg day? I don't do leg day. Like I, I can I tell, do, brother. Yeah, chicken legs. <laughs> Me too, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I be skipping leg. Day. I skip leg day today. Actually, we yeah. skip. We both skip leg day. I today. do legs but casually, not every day. So yeah, if, well, you, if you ever need help squatting, I got you. I'll help. Oh, I I'll know how to squat you. very well. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what I, what I was gonna say is you had the braids then. Tell me about that, man. Tell me about the braids, man. Braids. The braids I, era. Braids. I wanted to try something different. My little yeah. brother said, "Give it a try," and I was very scared. But then when I saw it, I'm like, "Oh my god, I look so great!" Yeah, yeah that yeah. looks sick. Where well, you're biting your lip, yo, whoever yeah. didn't see that he's biting his lip. Yeah, oh, I even promo- try to, <coughs> excuse me, promote somebody's business, and yeah, people love the braids. And yeah, sadly, your cell phone place was it called doesn't work anymore. Was it was it your real hair? Sorry, was it like your actual hair? Yeah, my actual hair. Oh, wow. Wait, but what? Wait, what? it was like your actual hair? Like it no, was like, that you got a hair transplant? Transplant? Yes, I had a hair transplant. Yeah. I was bald from here and. They put it all in the front and yeah, yeah look and it makes me happy like yeah hundred percent I'm old man to young man yeah yeah hundred percent I bro I already know I'm gonna go bald like I'm gonna go to Turkey or something and get it Turkey is expensive India's yeah. cheaper oh. where'd you go India bro India. oh you went to India yeah yeah that's smart it seems like India did a great job though mm-hmm. yeah India did a great job bro even this, I think my dad was looking at it too this is how I used to look oh, oh shit yeah, that, oh yeah that's just goddamn receded Holy brother shit. no but yeah. they- it. They fixed it <laughs> very well, and if yeah. I didn't do it, then it would my hair would have been back from here. Then so how, how much did it cost you in dollars? My, my uncle paid four thousand dollars Canadian. That's not that bad for a hair transplant. For extra hair, I paid for extra. He paid for extra hair. Now it's all covered. And yeah, yeah, bro, I had no idea you had a hair transplant until we met up with Parm and did that one video. Yeah, um, like I literally had no idea. But the, so the braids were part of the way. Why'd you end the braids, bro? Why? Because, bro, I I don't know if you see. Have you seen me with the braids for Adam for like a couple days or no? No, I'll I show don't. you why you tell us what we, uh, we were in Jamaica. He got braids in Jamaica. Yeah, we were in Jamaica and some uh, mm-hmm. some woman did braids on me, you know? Oh, wow. But when did you take out the... Why did you take out the braids? I'm going to find a picture real quick. Uh, let me find that picture too. Well, of you with the braids? Welcome back to the Dream Teachers picture break here. We have two people on the podcast. Trying to find pictures. pictures. And mm-hmm. I'm your one and only host. We've seen you with the picture. We'll just pop it up after. It's fine. Like we've all seen this it. This is one after the braids. Oh, so oh, so he took out your hair transplant hair, or was that no, your no. actual hair? Just because it was balding, temp- it's temporary, so I didn't want to see that. I looked very upset, so I said, I'm shaving it. Mm, now the hair is back. So it's or, like you grew it back out. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to grow longer hair this time. What are you going to go for next? What's the next hairstyle? Long up to my back, like oh. Triple H. Yo, oh, Triple H, Triple H, 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 yeah. H, yo, Triple H. Yo, some demon shit. Not like Who's you. your favorite WWE superstar for talking mm, about that? I like Undertaker. Mm. If I was in a WWE match, I would like to fight Rey Mysterio. I think you know Rey Mysterio is the easiest guy to fight. You know, sw- nah, he's the hardest guy both, to fight. Yo, you guys are both pretty small. That actually matchup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit us yeah. up, man. We'll get it sorted out. Sanju versus Rey Mysterio. I'll see that match. I think you could sell out probably a stadium for that match. Well, maybe <laughs> there could be another like UFC MMA fight. Because I heard there's a rumor Elon Musk and Z- Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That's a good so topic. saying that. Good. Like Zuckerberg. What do you guys um, think is going to win? Elon Zuckerberg, Musk. Zuckerberg, bro. He's like trading, isn't he? Yeah, he's training badly. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like doing UFC trading with like Izzy and Bro, he's talking about abs. This guy has abs and shit. Like Zuckerberg has yeah, abs. He's Elon ripped, Musk is built bro. like a fucking 18 wheeler in a bad way. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't know. He's Elon Musk built like an alien from Mars, bro. Like, I wonder who'd want to fight me on MMA or the UFC style. Like who I should fight. Somebody my height. Who do you think would win between you and me? You, you'd win because I don't do violence. No, but, but you just said you want to fight in the UFC. UFC, you'd beat me because you're taller than me. But what if I, okay, what if I was your height? Your height, you'd still beat me. You got bigger hands. Okay. <laughs> no, my hands are pretty small. Hold on, better hands are... Bro, Ooh. yeah. Okay, my hands are... Yeah, they are a little bigger. They are a little no, bigger. No, my, my hands from my height are actually pretty small. They are pretty small. Even like, my bro, hands are... I think both of us are like... The like they're like chubby hands. and shit, like small. I was, it always looks like... What are, what are those hands that Welcome you get? Welcome back to the Dream Teachers podcast where we have small hands. What do you? What, what's the Disneyland like hands you get? Who's ha- Mickey, Mickey, uh, Mouse, Mickey hands? Mouse hands? Like, bro, yeah. I dad us have Mickey Mouse hands, man. Doesn't Mickey Mouse have big hands? Well, but like, you know what I mean? Like puffy, <laughs> puffy, like glove type hands. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. only do it for charity if we're like, you know, if I were UFC MMA fight. Do you watch yeah. UFC? I'd watch a little bit of it. Not too much. Do you have a favorite fighter? Fighter? Uh, 
I forget his ah oh, damn I forget his name. Conor McGregor is good. Yeah, yeah. And boxing Floyd Mayweather is good, but Muhammad Ali all time. Yeah, I'm all, you're Muhammad Ali. Fuck all UFC time. fighters, yeah. man. We've been talking about UFC too much. Uh, every single pod. I want to know what type of girls you like. What's your type? That's what I want to know. Mm, girls, I'm not shallow. You, what does that mean? Like I don't judge by looks or anything. Oh, okay. So you don't have a type, basically. No. Wide range. Wide range. Like, what do you think about like the classic Ka- Kylie Jenner? What do you think about What's her? Kylie Jenner. My brother, that's actually a good thing. See, uh, this is a, thing, a you know? this is a good man right here. What, like, do you like like she's like on social media? She's like the yeah. biggest, like one of the biggest girl influences or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, what about any Indian girl? Do you have? Like, I have a diehard crush on Karishma Kapoor, mm. Kirti Salon, Jacqueline Fernandez. Oh, I know Jacqueline Fernandez. Yeah, Radha Kapoor, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro, I'm not gonna be yo like Bollywood actresses, man. Like even when I was a kid, I'd be watching these movies, man. Oh my god, I used to have crushes on like all of them. Yo, bro, <laughs> like every single main character woman. Like, in bro, it'd be movie, so, bro. bro. Was it awkward when you're? It was always awkward when you're watching a Bollywood movie or show and they start getting sexual with their oh parents, and you're god, watching with your yeah. parents. Yeah. Wasn't that so awkward? The most awkward thing ever. Have you had that experience? Yes, I did. There was a movie called Raja Hindustani. American and what's it called? Krishna this guy Kapoor. knows the exact moment. Krishna Kapoor were kissing. Yeah. I don't know who covered my, I think it was my cousin that covered my ears because they were having a kissing thing like this. I'm like, I wanted to see it. But <laughs> after several years, I saw it. I'm like, wow, I wish that was me. That's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. That's actually jokes. What's a, what's a top three Hindi movie? Top three movie of all time. Any movie. Any Does movie. I like, I'm a mm. die, die hard fan of Rahul Roy. I like Ashiki, Janoon, and Pirateri Kahani Yada. I'm, I have him on my social media. We've talked several times about mental health and depression. So That's the actor? That's the 07 shit right there. Yes, I love him dearly, and he's my man crush. Wait, uh, whoa, whoa. Man crush Mondays. Man Today's crush Tuesday. Okay. Like, not the wrong way, but, you know, I idolize him, and, you know, yeah. any lady would like to be with him. You, you, you look up to him as a role model. You have any uh, man crush, man? Yeah. Besides uh, I do, actually. Snoop Dogg? I actually do. <laughs> West Coast? Actually, do Ooh. it's a uh, Parmer's world, <laughs> yo, <laughs> bro. I don't, I don't know if Parmer's world somebody look up to, man. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm fucking around. He's a good guy, <laughs> yo. <laughs> that's a fine Physically, <laughs> not the best, but uh, mentally, he's a good guy. He's absolutely a great guy. Man. Mentally, wonderful. Guy, yeah. Very God made him very special. Yeah, hundred percent. I think everybody's special, man, yeah. in their own way. You know, I was gonna yeah. ask you. You were talking. We we're talking about movies. I came across. I like. I've been watching your TikTok. You like the Joker a lot, right? Joker. I even dyed my hair once green, and yeah. I went to a, a retail store. I had security following me. Oh shit! Yo. So you went? Which store did you go into? I think it, it, it was right. It was, it was New Westminster. Oh, shit! I forget the store's name now. Yeah. It because I was with my friend with me, and then we went. Yeah. And then security security was chasing me with my green hair, and they oh made an assumption I'm a shoplifter. Oh my god! Were you yeah. laughing at the Joker? Like, uh, do, a, do a Joker laugh real quick, Joker. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, that's pretty accurate. Yo, that's not bad. <laughs> you try, yo, you There's try. no way I can do. It. I don't know. How to do it. <laughs> yo, nah, that's nah, not nah. bad either. <laughs> yo, that was a maniac. I'm not pod. even gonna try. I know I'm not gonna be able to. Welcome do it. back to the try. Maniac Podcast. Uh, today we have cycles on the pod. So is he me. is he like your favorite like super villain? Yes, Die Hard. And if there were if I was offered a DC as a Joker, I'd have to prepare myself to do that role. Like you know, get psychotic and yeah. you know prepare for it and like it, actually immerse yourself in it. Immerse myself like become that character. Did you see? I forgot which Joker was. Joker Phoenix? Joker? Huh? Joker Phoenix? The one who went crazy? No, yeah, Joker Phoenix. Oh, yeah, Heath yeah, Ledger. Yeah. That was the other one, right? Yeah. Joker Phoenix is a new one. Yeah. And then the, the one before oh, yeah, the one that actually Ledger. went crazy. Intense. He worked very hard for that yeah. role. Yeah. Suddenly man. he died. Like yeah. he, he like died in that role. Like he yeah, died as smart, that person, nah, as crazy. his character. Which wait, is, that's insane. Wait, where did he die and how did he die? No, I mean, like his mental, like mental. Oh, I yeah. don't know. How, how, do you know how he died? Uh, I think it was some overdose of medicine while he was playing the character. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, he needed the medicine because of the. Like the character, yeah, you method acting, mind. method acting, yeah, yeah, yeah. You also obviously got fucked up off that, but talking about crazy, cycles right? and maniacs, um, have you heard about Adam 22 and Lena the Plug? Like, do you know those people? No, so basically, this is guy, right? He's like a podcaster <laughs> on YouTube, he's like big in like the uh, music black industry. community, music industry, rap industry, right? Mm-hmm. And he has a wife, he just recently married his wife, mm-hmm. and Lena, her name's Lena, mm-hmm. and like they're both like into like corn, you know, like you know what I'm trying to say, corn, like the. Uh, the like vegetable, right? No, but like <laughs> replace the C with the P. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, yeah. So they do that type of shit, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, he let his wife get smashed by a BBC on camera. What's a smash? For, uh, okay. Punched? No, like smashed. Oh, yeah, I'm very old school. Yeah, like, man, like, you, our terminology is completely different. Yeah, right? Our terminology is completely different. Like, oh, seven brother right here. <laughs> Like smile, like like fucked. Like they had intercourse. Mm. Intercourse. They had 
sexual intercourse, right? So, she, she, so basically, Adam's wife, Lena, mm -hmm. they're both porn stars, but he let her get fucked by a black dude. Mm. So that's the context. Yeah, on, on camera. On camera. On camera. So he let his wife have intercourse with another man. Basically. On camera. And a black dude. Add and <laughs> a BBC, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, it's like blowing the fuck up. So I have a question for you guys. Um, I had to give you context because you didn't know. But uh, would you ever let your wife get Adam 22 for $10,000? I'm going to keep going up. Would you ever? Adam 22? You mean Adam 22. Jason loved, bro. No, Adam 22. Like like the same thing. Like no, Okay, Adam okay. 22. See Jason again. Love, is a, that's like regular. No, Adam 22 is more specific. Okay, okay. Would you ever let your wife get Adam 22 for 10K? That's it? I'm going to keep going up. Just, I'm going to keep... Saying the number and then you, you tell me when the, you know. Not 10k. No, even if you offer me 1 trillion, no. Oh, wow. This is a matter of morals What here. about 1 trillion and 1 dollar? No, not even 999, 9, 9 trillion. Tell no. us, tell us why. Why? Morals, respect, love. Straight, that's facts. Adam, you hear that, motherfucker? Who's We're Adam? coming for your podcast, buddy. Yeah, that's me. Yo. <laughs> no, but what about you, bro? 20k? No. 30k? No. 40k? I nothing, bro. 50k? It has to be a high number, honestly. Okay, 50 million. Would you let... Your wife get Adam 22 for $50 million. Think about it, $50 million. Okay, look, I'm not going to say yes or no yet, but I'm going to I'm gonna break it down to you here. If it's you and your wife and you love this woman. Yeah, okay, you love you her. Make she, 50 she million. still loves you. You make $50 million with her. It's not cheating. It's just for the business. You just set up your life for both of you, and you can go anywhere and be happily ever after. But you got to remember she absolutely got rearranged like inside, <laughs> like it's a game of scra Scrabble or Scribble or whatever you want to call it. She got rearranged like a Slytherio. Mm -hmm. By Jason Love. I'm gonna be rearranging my whole life with fifty million. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked too. What are you doing? Fifty M's? I'll do it for fifty M's. What? Yeah, I'll do it for fifty M's. Bro, you let your wife get rearranged by another dude. Bla Jason I'm Love. I'm saying that now, but if the moment ever came, I probably wouldn't do it. It's easier said than done. Daddy chill. That's easier uh, said than done. Are we actually honest answer? Fifty million. Okay. I don't know about that. You guys let us know what you do in the comments, man. Um, you know, me and Sanju here have respect for our wives, future wives. Mm hmm I need a handshake there. I don't have any respect. I'm I'm hold your hand for a little bit there. Oh no, how romantic! It's okay, right? Like I could keep holding. Cue the Hindi yeah, music. You can hold it. Do whatever. Somebody cue the Hindi Hindi music right now. Daddy, chill. <laughs> Being cheating. <laughs> yeah, I'll just hold this guy's hand for like thirty seconds. If, if you're just listening, I'll just hold his hand quietly. Looking at yeah, him, people, staring people, at him. Sometimes I don't even think about the people that only listen to the pod. Yeah, so if you're only listening to the pod, right? I go on YouTube, bro. No, but even on YouTube, I'd be listening to just pods like that, you know? Yeah, but they can still see a visual, you know? But some guys who just strictly listen to pods on Spotify. Bro, okay, so the first... This is not my first time meeting Sanju. First time we met was at Parm's video like a week ago or something yeah. like that, right? And you... Even though my name's UV... Uvraj, full name. You thought I was Greek. Yeah. You're wallin'. How do Greek. I look Greek? I mean, like, I've never gone in Greek, bro. Your skin, your good looks, and... What would you rate UV out of 10? As a Three whole hands again? <laughs> sure. Tw 20 out of 10. Oh, well, that's oh, a compliment brother. to have, bro. And lo what's brother. called looks doesn't matter, but his heart is pure. That matters. Bro, that's Damn, fine. bro. Hey, man. That's, that's yo, Sanju, you're rizzing me up right now, bro. You're rizzing <laughs> me the fuck up, man. I don't feel it. Blushing a little bit. I know you got a lot of uh, ladies back in the... I don't know about now. I don't know if you're trying, but mm -hmm. back in the day, I'm sure you... Yeah, and when I used to go clubbing, yes. Lots oh, of yo, clubbing. Mm. Do you have any rowdy clubbing story? Yes, I do. I was dancing. This girl really wanted me. And then at, I think it was Club 2 and She ripped my shirt, like my dress shirt. Oh. Like, I was oh. completely... Not naked, but you know. Your shirt off. She ripped your shirt off. Like my dress shirt off, yeah. And I oh had to my go, God. I had to go home like this. What, in a sexual way or some shit? Or like no, what? she was massively drunk. You yeah, should have ripped it off. So just abs were popping out. His V was popping out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not deep. Just a shirt. That's it. Oh my Yo. God, that's wild, man. Wait, so you weren't fully naked? Like you can't see your, you could see your chest or like? It's my chest. It? Yeah, that's it. Do you drink? Bro. No, I used to drink like crazy, but not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. Conquer, what was it? Like a bad habit? Or bad, bad? Uh, no, I used to dance with random women. I remember when I turned 19, I went to club <laughs> two for one. I danced with a pole dancer and yeah, I was super drunk and I don't remember what happened. Do you regret oh, it? It's like Hangover, no. bro. If you're no, making a Hangover 4, guess Sanju is one of the characters, bro. Do you oh regret like doing stuff like that when you're younger? Or no? When I was younger, yes, I enjoyed it in my 20s. So yeah. yeah, I really liked it. I danced with so many girls. Oh my god! Like, would you if you if you were to go back to your young age? Would, would Time you travel, change? yes. You would what? I would I would take my that old 20 year olds yeah. Sanju out and put myself in there. You'd change it. You wouldn't do it again. I'd do it again in, if I was in my 20s. Oh, you'd be like, you'd be like, you'd change yourself and you'd want to go back to it. But like, this time have abs. This time have abs. Yeah, Take yeah, off yeah. my chest hair and... 
Yeah. It's not yeah. too late though. Why don't you head back yeah, to the strip club? Oh, that's on Vancouver. Why don't you look into the gay strip club? You know, mm. scene of uh, business. You know? I've I mean, been there. Are looking for a job and everything? <laughs> I've been there actually. So how's you've been that? to the gay strip club? Yeah. How was that? It was interesting. Like interesting in what type of way, brother? Guy when, when did you? How long ago was this? This is 2016. Okay. Guys dancing around and it was interesting and yeah, I had a T-shirt that said "Kiss me, I'm Indian" and I got kissed <laughs> by a guy. Hey, Yo, one, I, was gonna, one, I was gonna ask you, have you had any fruity interaction? Yes, on the cheek, I got kissed by a guy. I didn't mind it actually. Oh shit! Well, did you? Well, the real question is like, apparently, like some people say that you gotta have some sort of gay experience to just find out that you're not gay. So, like, how did you feel in that moment? It was interesting. I never even not on the lips. If it's John, you know who John Stamos is? Yeah. I if think, he yeah. kissed me on the lips, then yeah, I don't mind at all. I've seen you say this. On, I've seen you say this on TikTok. Gotcha. I was gonna ask you about it. Well, how come John Stable? Is it just because of his looks or what? It looks, and he's my favorite Full House character, Uncle Jesse. Have mercy. <laughs> I'm you, not know John, you know who John Stamos is, right? He's been I'm on like sure. Dobrik's vlogs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know 100%. Yeah, I know. I love John Stamos, even though he's old enough to be my dad. But yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't even you. look old. He looks so young for he his does, age. He does, yeah. He's, we can play brothers. Though. Yeah. Yeah, like he looks extremely young for his age, man. So I'm trying yeah, to be yeah, and he's got a wife and a kid now, too, so. No, but like, wait, hold on. We got to rewind a little <laughs> bit here. Hold on, let's rewind a little bit. Um, my, my, I'm trying to find out though. Like when you got kissed on the cheek, like mm-hmm. did it stand up or was it still down? I didn't care. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. <laughs> yo. And then I left. And went we would have found That's something That's a crazy new. question. We would have found out that Sanju's bi or, so, or no. gay today, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> Respect everyone. Respect. Respect to everyone. What does that mean? Whoa. Okay. Wakanda? Wakanda forever. Okay. Let's throw it up one time. Everybody throw it up. Wakanda. I thought it was some Illuminati shit, but you know, we're throwing up the Wakanda, Wakanda, Wakanda forever. Wakanda Chad Boseman. Chad, re- rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. One yeah. of the best ba- Black Panther in history. Are you a Marvel fan? Die hard. I love Marvel yeah. more than anything. What's your favorite Marvel movie yeah, from the MCU? MCU? I like all the. I like it all, actually. Yeah. Minus the ga- Guardian of the Galaxy. You like Guardian? Do you I like the new one or no? You could ask no. me too, bro. You could ask what I like too, man. Uh, you no. I feel lonely out here. I feel, I feel left out. But yeah. I love the MCU and the Spider-Man Sony universe. Oh, did you watch the new Spider-Man? New, I've, oh, the new one? The Spider-Verse. Yeah, the I Spider-verse. watched that. Yep, I already watched that. Oh, what do you think about that? that? It was Fabulous. Too you you like a general the goal. Indian yeah. Spider-Man. There's an Indian Spider-Man too, so I think I should campaign myself to play the Indian Spider-Man. Oh my God, bro. This guy would be perfect for that. You would be perfect for but that. got to hit the gym a little bit. I got to start hitting the gym, diet, acting skills, and got to learn how to rock climb and everything. Then, yeah. This is Suri's India. Tom Holland, around. man. After you started humping, uh, after you started getting fucked by that guy in that one uh, show. Have you seen that? Tom what? Holland getting humped by a Oh, male. yes, I saw that. Yes, I Yo, saw that. You saw that? It was yeah. weird as hell. What? So, Tom Holland, we have Sanju over here. New Spider-Man taking your spot, buddy. Oh, Wait, what? That? Bro, Tom Holland's in this movie and it's like in a great gate it's like in a it's a show. Yeah. But like it's acting, but like he's fully getting humped by some black guy. <laughs> against the wall. Uh, not like what? actually but like against the wall, like Tom Holland. Yeah, yeah. like Tom Holland's fully dressed like I a girl. That's supposed to be Spider Man, bro. He's dressed like a girl, bro. That's not my Spider Man, bro. That's not my Spider Man. Spider Man just okay. let me down, bro. Bro, Tom Holland was like low key getting my favorite Spider Man. But now, bro, I'm sorry. He's all the way down. We got Toby. Then we got Andrew. Now we have Tom. What about you? Just because I see me, I I I grew up watching Toby Maguire, so mm-hmm. he's my OG Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. And then Andrew Garfield second, third Tom Holland. Yeah, bro, Tom yeah. Holland fell off the map for me now, man. Really? For everyone? He actually did that shit, bro. You gotta oh, see the video. Oh, I think I didn't see the video, but I think I saw a post about it on Instagram. No, I gotta I gotta show you real quick. Oh my god! Welcome Tom back Holland to the picture hump. break once again, where we're looking for an Instagram post with your one and only host, Lover Sro. I saw that. Yeah. Bro, Yo, no! Like basically, this sped up, but bro, what the fuck? Bro, he's getting fully. Just I think he's getting paid a lot of money. Yeah, he bro, has to be. Bro. That's selling your that. soul. Wait, I'm pretty sure you'd do that too if you got paid millions of dollars. Brother, I already do that, brother. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, okay, no, hold up. Why would I do that if I'm already one? I'm already rich. Like if I'm Tom Holland, I'm, I'm already fucking Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Why am I ruining my image to do that? And he even said that he Loki regret. He didn't say that, but he said like. He's taking a year break from acting after that role, or some shit. Like what that. else? What else do you do with that role? I don't know, man. We'll I find know, out. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> yeah, watching that like, shit. Sanjay, you're lying to me, bro. You you went to the gay strip club. You're watching that shit. You're watching that shit multiple times. Uh, no, I didn't see. I just saw guys dancing together. That. But you're the one asking about it, brother. Hey, man. Which means you want to go to? Well, I only got brought up because he's talking with the gay strip club. So those are the great times. 2016. I had a job and everything, and life was good. And yeah. yeah. What's What's the day of life for you like these days? The, ah, applying for jobs on Indeed everywhere I go. Yeah. And I don't, you know what? I hope I get a job offer anywhere, Calgary or Toronto. Then that would be awesome. Well, well, well you want to move out of here? BC is too expensive too now. Too expensive rent. here. Yeah. Rent is expensive. Like in a, 
one bedroom house in Vancouver is like twenty five hundred. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is that now. Like downtown Vancouver, it's crazy. I've thought about Calgary or what's got anywhere in Ontario. Ontario is pretty expensive too, though. A small the area. Tourist spots. Yeah, small areas is cheaper. Hundred percent for sure. Yeah. Have you ever been in a fight, yo? Me in high school, yes, I have. Oh, actually, because I don't know if I don't, like one of our most viral TikTok clips is me talking about my fight that I had, the one proper fight I had in grade nine. This guy, you never had any fight, right? Um, Pussy. Me. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm yeah, look, you hit that note. What? Nobody want to fuck with me. Yeah, mm. No, I'm joking. Huh? Nobody wants to fuck with you. What you <laughs> but he was, but he was listening too much West Coast. Man. What's going on? <laughs> no, no, I never but, uh, got a fight. What was the fight? You tell us how it went. Uh, start we, to finish. We bumped into each other, and I dropped his book, and he pushed me. Started punching, and then I got punched in the face. I lost. Oh, simple as that. Uh, now I'm 35, and I look back at it. Look right now. I'm a very peaceful and kind person. Violence doesn't solve anything. Sure. I'm not Will Smith who slaps. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> bro, I saw that clip again like the other day. I saw it the other day too. He, he should be ashamed of himself for doing that. Yeah, that never slap wild. a man. You know, it's a part but, of his job. But what if what if he's talking saying something about the wife? Like, what if what he saying something? Wife? Just tell yeah, me. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just just tell me you don't appreciate this comment by going yeah, instead of slapping. <laughs> we yeah, don't know who did that, bro. Yeah, slap violence doesn't solve anything. Like, if I if. Chris Will Smith hits him, then Chris Will Rock slaps him. It's like eye for an eye. In what if your What if your wife What if your wife told you that she wants you to go and slap him? No, violence doesn't solve anything. You're gonna slap that bitch herself. No, I would. Yeah. Ne- I would <laughs> never do that. Violence is wrong. And then what if she What if she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna leave you because you didn't." She wouldn't do that. Mm. But what if she did though? What are you doing? Are you Are you being? Is she the one for you? <laughs> oh my god! Yo, <laughs> yo, it's, it's too loud. This long, is dude. unexpected, bro. Just because I know he's right beside the speakers. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, going yeah. right in my ear. <laughs> Your drum blown up. What were oh, I said if if she said she's gonna leave you if you don't do it, then is she the one for you? Yeah, she, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't do that because I would definitely hit, won't hit him. I would definitely go like this by sho- grab him by the shoulder and say, "I don't appreciate what you're saying. Please apologize to her." <laughs> yo, that's the most robotic AI response of all time. Yeah. Nah, bro, I think the guy would be stunned by that, though, just by... Cause wow, man, that's a mi- Bow! You got knocked out, Sanju. Now what? No, I would never do violence, no. Even though people swear on me on TikTok and say mean things, I don't see anything. I Wait, what do you... Spread love. What are your thoughts on that? Like, all the hate comments and stuff, like, people just hate it on you. Oh, I don't mind at all. How do you deal with it? One called me Salah Kutta, and one called me Fudu Pancho, then the other person calls me Lan Pakora, and I'm like... I want to react, but then instead I just describe their name. Like, their name, like... L U N D Pakora, like loyal, understand how much everyone loves you, never <laughs> yo, up, yo. dares to succeed. So yeah, I describe it in every letter. So, so wow, London. that's actually like that's just like very that's very amazing. Positive. So like the Lund, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so the way you look at Lund is uh, it's a it's a swear word, but you know I turn no, it it's not. Way. Now it's loyalty, understanding, never gives up, and never dares gives to up, succeed. and dares to succeed. So yeah, I just. Spread like fire and fire. If you hit together, it grows bigger. And water and fire, water doses fire off. So I'm yeah. the water, they're the fire. So I dose them off, and I'm the winner. So no matter no matter what, these guys are hating on you, whatever they're saying, saying the meanest things, you're always gonna be the positive guy. Yes, spread fire. Give have them water. You, have you ever been hurt by any comments or any uh, any time? I have. Somebody made fun of my guru because me and him made a video once, long, long time ago. Yeah. He called my mental patient. I. I snapped that time only once. Yeah, yeah. And then ever since that, not again. But you learn, right? You, you, you learn. Because I, I swear at that person so many times I was aggr- angry because making fun of someone's mental mental disorder is disgusting. Yeah. Below yeah. the belt. So 100%. I yeah. spazzed out at that person. So that's the only time. Yeah. 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 But yo, when did you, why'd you start making TikToks? So I want to start talking about TikToks. Okay, person. yes. my One of my best friends was making TikToks and I saw him and then he kept on doing some TikTok. I'm like, wow, I should join too. And then yeah. I joined, joined. I said, I'm going to get 500 followers and I'm going to delete it. But then overnight, like a few days after I got 1,000 followers, then I kept on doing it, doing yeah. it, doing it. Uh, what, do you, what do you think was that naturally attracted people towards you? What do you think it is? My you? best, my job is to make people smile. Like say, if they want a happy birthday, anniversaries, and my friends, what's it called? Suggestion, yeah. dating tips, or anything they want, you know, just to make them happy. Even though people make fun of me, like when I wear my Spider Man costume, they call me your L U L L I is dingling. L U L I. Oh, yeah. is dingling, bro. Not tingling. So, yeah, I'd say as long as you're happy, that matters. As long as you're happy. Well, is it dangling, though? I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Yo, yo, nah, you're wild. Yo, talk about. 
Oh, oh fuck. Wrong one. Wrong one, man. Wrong come, on, come on, you've been doing this for a while now. You don't even know what to do. You're literally chasing the fucking page. Yeah, you but you should know, man. You, gotta, you, you should go and check. Uh, but talk about, talk about TikTok. Have you guys seen like those NPC TikTok live people? Oh, well, I haven't seen that. You're have NPC? you seen that? Like, bro, they act like NPCs on TikTok live and people just send them gifts and money. Have you, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, no? What do you mean? Give a specific example. Okay, I'm going to show you guys right now. Because, bro, there's like this one girl and she's like, like, you know those NPCs, like, in, in video games and stuff, and they're, like, hovering, waiting for you to interact with them, like this, and then you interact with them, and then they, like, tell you a quest? Do you know what I'm talking about? I, no. they, I get gifts a lot, so. Like, here, let me show you. No, but, like, there's, like, a trend going on right now. Let me, let me, let me search it up. I see quick. those TikToks, but you're saying no, people no, no. do that type of shit on live? Yeah, literally, in the past few days, it's become a thing, like. And people watch it? People stick around? <laughs> like, they talk like NPCs. Strong woman, grab, grab. Yeah, strong woman. Yes. So they just, they literally send them gifts mm -hmm. and they react to the gift. Like, let's say they send you <coughs> like a cookie. Mm -hmm. They're like, <laughs> like, they're just, it's like some NPC shit. And they repeat what the same the, thing like a robot. I don't know like, how to do that. No. Like yeah. I don't know how the hell they do it for like hours on end. But like, bro, they get paid. Like, don't you think the internet sometimes is getting weirder and weirder like every day? Yes. Yeah, it is. It but is bro, they're, ma they're making like $400 like each <laughs> live. And that's like. Bro, like 400 bucks a day type shit. Like, I don't know. Like, more than that, too. Like, this, like, let me. Let That's me crazy, you. bro. Like, she's just like. Like, she's just reacting to the gifts, and then people keep bro. sending them. I okay, first of all, I get it. Sorry, what were you saying? Go ahead. I stumbled across it. I was like, what the hell? It was intriguing, though. It, like, caught my. It kept me engaged. Non stop talking. Bro, yeah. like. Okay, first of all, I know you, what she made 500 bucks or something, but like. No, like more than that, like his whole career going on right now. Really? Right now, yeah, right now. I don't know how long it'll last. Holy, but yeah, how do these people just sit there doing that, bro, and thinking that they're fulfilling themselves? I don't know. Like, what do you think about it, though? I mean, bro, go, go get your bag. Yeah, get, your bag get your bag. Like, do what you want. Get your money, man. But like, <laughs> like what? Like, how is that even entertaining for people in the live? Like, why are people in the live even giving gifts in the first place? One, bro? everyone in the comments is like, bro, what's going on? Because it's new, right? Yeah. And then second, I guess people just want to see them react to the gift they're sending. Like, if they're sending like. I don't know, like a, like a GG, like, you know, like good game. She's saying gang gang. Like, I don't know. She's just doing this. They want shit. the dopamine rush from yeah. the reaction. Yeah. That's a whole like engagement. Like she's just constantly talking. I don't know how she does it. Bro. Like, that's like, that's like also, that's like fucking short span, like attention span shit. Like yeah. she's constantly talking, which is why people are watching. If she took a break from talking, people are fucking all like they're gone. Yeah. man. Is that all we got to do now? Like I, the only reason I brought it up is because one, it's trending and two, since you're on TikTok, bro, I feel like this guy did it. If Sanju did that TikTok live like that and reacted to gifts, bro, I think he'd go crazy, bro. If Sanju could make this bang. I don't know how to do it. I would love to do it. You could probably do it. You just got to watch it properly. Like, I just showed you a snippet. But, like, if you go on TikTok live properly and, like, just act like the, act like the NPC, mm -hmm. especially in a Spider-Man costume, it's over. There's one guy who's, like, Miles Oh, my Mar God. Yes, bro. bro you're right. Yeah, you're I'm right. right. No, I'm fully right. Because there's you a guy. You can make some money, man, if you want to do it. There's some black guy who's acting like Miles Morales. Fully, and he's like giving the dialogue exactly like Miles Morales, and people think like he he's like like you mean, and then they're giving him gifts for doing all that. He could he could even I'm you can even you. like do multiple characters. Like I see you dress up as Wolverine before too. Yo, right? Wolverine, Wolverine Spider Man, uh, what's like a future Foundation Spider Man, Pikachu. Yeah, like, if I had lots of money, I'd buy lots of costumes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna show you real quick. So say something while I find this. Welcome back to the third time okay, man. of the Dream Teachers podcast picture finding segment with your one really host is, lovers, it's like a bro. Fetish, like an NPC fetish. Like I feel like that's what. Yeah, see, you know what it is. It reminds me of ASMR. Okay, ASMR is not a fetish. No, I mean, it could be. Yeah, could of be. course you're gonna defend it, but you watch ASMR twenty four seven. He's like, he's like, okay, ASMR. I a listen fetish. to ASMR to sleep, but like not like the weird like ear licking. That's the sexual shit that like old fucking sure, dudes man. get off to. Sure, man. That's sure. Like, do you do, what do you think about ASMR, man? Uh, what ASMR? It, I don't know who that is. No, like it's like. Like, it's, like, the where they, like, whisper and, like, make noises with, like, things in the mic. No, I don't know. No, you don't know? That's fine. Honestly, yo. Yeah. I'm old school. You are old school. Yeah. yeah. Well, bro, where's that Miles? Bro? Okay, it's not popping up. I'm trying to figure somewhere. out what's a good way to describe it some more, but it's, like. I forgot what it's actually oh, it's kind of hard. You just gotta listen to it. Like, yeah. You just gotta see what it is. Yeah. Like, the people who whisper in the mic, like, hi, oh, guys. You haven't Hi. seen that? Uh, sorry, I'm very, very old school. I'm uh, born in the 80s. What's your TikTok feed looking like? Your TikTok. Yeah, what's uh, what's on your TikTok feed? TikTok, I follow so many people like cooking. I follow UV. I follow v, Coach V. And I follow so many good things like positive stuff, which makes me happy. Do you follow I'm the Dream Tishes podcast, brother? Who's? The Dream Tishes <laughs> podcast. Wait, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> the Dream Tishes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you don't know the Dream Tishes podcast? You don't know the Dream Tishes podcast? No. Oh, I'm Wait. a farm. No, you don't know the Dream Chasers podcast. No. Like the two guys? No, 
I don't know what that is. They like get guests on and they're Dream like, Siri. they have like, oh no, I follow someone else who, what's to ask you Pokemon trivia? No, no, but like Dream Shift Podcast, they have, they're like two brothers and they're like, do podcasts and like they get guests on occasionally they do like they talk about pop culture and stories and stuff no, so sorry yeah. i'm behind the world we're talking about us sanji oh you yeah oh sorry I <laughs> this is the dream chaser <laughs> welcome back to the dream chasers podcast <laughs> welcome back to the dream chasers podcast you're on the dream chasers podcast right now oh sorry i thought it was <laughs> uvs and friends podcast sorry, well, you, well you did only you were talking to him like personally though yeah 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 that's you you just told a podcast. You never told a Dream Chasers podcast. Yeah, I know, I know, but like, it was funny as hell. So just just, this is the Dream Chasers podcast. Dream Chasers. We chase dreams out here. Whoever's listening and d- don't know, this is the Dream Chasers podcast. That's actually so funny. That's, <laughs> he funny does jokes. that's hilarious. That's so funny. Do you know where that's you're amazing. at right now, Sanju? Do you know what planet you're on right now? Sadly, Earth. Sanju off the streets. If you, if you wanted to go to any planet, what planet would you go to? Er, what's it called? Kelp? What's it called? 345. Open ended question. Wait, what? The planet's Cal- called 345? Yeah, Kelp. It's, I think it's called Kelp 345. And if I created the world, everyone wouldn't be working and only artificial intelligence would be working. That okay, day. so that's what I was going to ask you. That's what I was going to ask both of you guys. <laughs> yeah. But I wanted to ask you what, I- what is your perfect society? My world, like like if I'm Doctor Doom, I want everybody in the world to be happy. Everything, everything is free. Cooking robots, cooking robot engineers, robot warehouses, and everyone is very happy, have their own houses free. And yeah, and I am the go- god of the world. And what if what if people? Are so you want to be a dictator? No, you know what's it called, Doctor Doom, Victor Von Doom from. I think so. Yeah, like him. I want to be like him. He created the world a better place. P- kids yeah. playing and technologies. All the like artificial intelligent robots, artificial intelligent fast food, like all the jobs artificial intelligence do. So, do you do you believe in God? God, I do believe in. Not really. I believe Just in or a <laughs> higher power. Higher power. There is somebody that created us. Like for instance, I really like so many people. Like for Par- Parma and no Katapa. You know who Katapa is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it took one person se- centuries to make Katapa. Like putting one nail on every bo- body part on fingers. Like ma- it's like making a robot. So you're glazing, brother. Yeah. Glazing. <laughs> I'm fucking around. No, they like Katapa made they made Katapa very, very special. Like it took centuries, 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 nine hundred million centuries, and that's how that person became God by making Katapa. So how long did it take for me uh, to get made in your ma- m- Katapa I made uh nine hundred billion years like trillion years because he's very special. What about me? Huh? What about me? You? Yeah. Like people like you, you're very kind. Everybody's kind. Like made it took centuries. That's how that person became God. How about me? How about me? Even everybody. Know me like that, I said everybody. Me. Oh, okay, okay. I'll take. I'll take. Wow. Some centuries. So it's Katapa versus everybody. No, Katapa and like everybody. Katapa for me, he's special because I'm not gonna lie. There are days when I cry alone and depressed. I was missing my dogs like when they died because what's it called? Twelve years ago, and then somebody Rest told me peace. Katapa. What's it called? I watch his very funny videos and they make me smile. That's fire, man. Yeah, I feel like. Everyone has some sort of um, outlet. No, Depression. Uh, me, yeah, 100%. Everyone's, you know, sad at times, but everyone ha- finds that outlet to, you know, feel make them feel better. You know, you had Katapa, you know, everyone has d- different ways and yeah, different yeah, times. Different That's why it's nice to, you know, be in this, be making contact because you never know who you might be you making laugh, know, you know? Man. You never know. Like, you know, you never know what kind of day somebody's having and you even get one laugh out of them and, you know, they're in a better mood already and they're just watching the Dream Dreamers podcast episode yeah. 44. Yeah, but I got a quick question though, you know? Um, would you, I got a would you rather. For both of you guys. Okay. Classic. Would you rather drink a chocolate milkshake with nut, worms, and leeches or chew a shit vomit blood gummy? Uh, <laughs> go on first. No, no, you're first. Okay. Uh, so let me tell you one again. Would you rather drink a chocolate milkshake filled with nut? Nuts? Like he's talking about semen. Semen. Oh, shit. Nut, <laughs> worms, and leeches or chew... A used condom that has shit, vomit, and blood in it. Oh my god! <laughs> shit! Oh my god! This is a very tough question. So, oh. seems like you got an answer though. I'm not. You know what? I'm gonna go. With shit. I don't want to eat sperm. I, I, that's fucked up. Okay, no, but the condom has sperm in it too. Oh fuck! So both <laughs> options include sperm. You know what? I'll just have the chocolate milkshake. But it has sperm in it as well. For a minute, then I'll and it, it also has like toenail clippings in it as well. Oh my god, this is a tough question. <laughs> Yo, this kid keeps what does that? Shit. What does the condom stuff have? Oh, the condom. Oh, let me read it again. I don't remember. It's a used condom as well with leeches, shit, vomit, and blood in it. You know what? I have. I'm gonna confess. Confess. I have bi- bitten my nail several times, so I'm gonna just take the milkshake. 
Dude, this no, but the milkshake is twenty four seven. No, but the milkshake also has baby shit in it. Oh, and, then adding stuff. and then mold. <laughs> keeps no, adding shit. What are you doing? But no, oh, but you the other thing. No, but it also has like mold in it and shit from like fifty years ago, when you were born. Fuck it, I'm gonna have the condom. No, but the condom has like so much shit. In <laughs> oh it my it'll, god! It'll probably go on your mouth and face and shit, and go in your nostrils somehow. And it has boogers in it too. Oh my god! Now, if I not have the milkshake, you're gonna add something to it, right? It has like a homeless man's uh, dick cheese in it. I knew you. Milkshake. You're adding <laughs> so many things. <laughs> Fucking fat milkshake. You might as well have some protein in there to make it worthwhile, man. But then it also has 30 grams of protein in it. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, but then the protein is so bad that it actually does the opposite of what protein does. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? Before that, I'm going to put some wax in my mouth. Then I'm going to have it. What is that going to do? That's just your finish. You got a wax finish, brother? <laughs> no, put a wax in my mouth. That's how somebody put wax in their mouth and cu- couldn't handle the spice. Oh, actually? Wha- like candle long, wax? long time ago in the, in the 90s. Like it, it like takes away the taste. Take it takes away the taste. Yeah. yeah. So like candle, go get candle wax or some shit. Yeah, candle. Put the candle wax. You put it in your mouth, and then it stays in your mouth for hours, and then I'll have that. Or you can get COVID before too. And then it also has trick. COVID. The milkshake has COVID <laughs> along along with the condom. I'll take the because I'm immune to COVID. Oh, actually, you are. Yeah. I have COVID. I'm ha- I'm immune because I'm I consider myself something very very special. Did you get the vaccine? Wait, wait, hold up. Wait, what you do? Hmm. What you do? I feel like I'm a very, very special person. Like, not God, but di- I'm a different human being from everyone. Oh, okay. So, why you're, why, why so, you're, you're, so you're a man that gets preg- that's able to get pregnant? No. Oh. Like, why is superior the first p- thing that came to your mind? He was saying he's very special and different. That was the first thing that like came. Superior. Describe, describe why you think that. Wait, so being pregnant isn't superior? Is that what you're trying to say right now? <laughs> no. Wow. No, wax. I don't even know mouth? I could talk to you now. Uh, <laughs> that's... I think like that's you know being rude to women and females and things of that, that nature. Yeah. Now, you're, now <laughs> your turn <laughs> for the milkshake. How no, much shit is the milkshake now, bro? Uh, basically, might as well just combine both of them together. It'll be the same fucking thing at this point, bro. Uh, at that point, it would be. Yeah. But, uh, oh, no, that's what, okay. Here the answer for you. Okay, yeah, but what I was saying is, what makes you think that like you're like a special human being? And you're one. Of I them. had allergy reaction, and I was supposed to be dead in 2005, but I didn't. I don't know oh, shit. how I survived. I had hives on my neck and I couldn't breathe and I was get, trying to get revived by doctors and when I woke up like I was I'm like I was I should have been dead. Yeah. Yeah. I know so that's just, that's some deep shit right there. Yeah, yeah, what was that experience like for you? Like overcoming that? They like, gave me wrong somebody else's injection and had a deadly reaction so when it felt Oh shit, that's crazy. Accidental but that's okay. I feel okay. Oh my god, you a, that's hold up. it was accidental. They bro. give you an accidental injection that they were supposed to give a different yeah, one. Like double the dose instead. Well, they give and you, you could have and you could have died from it. Yeah, I'm not scared of death to be wow. honest. I can't die even. Whoa. Did you try suing them? You can't no. die? That was 2005. No, suing is easy so You're invincible? Huh? You're invincible. No, for some reason I don't know why. I, Cuz I could see my dreams like when I have dreams I could uh, my dreams come true and then I try to avoid it like the bad ones. Okay, so you always have, do you have dreams that what's our, like what's the re- craziest dream you've had? The craziest dream I had is what the uh let me remember I was supposed to bump into someone and I would fall down but instead I instead of bumping into him I made a left turn. So wait, hold yeah, up, hold that, up, hold up. Did that happen in real life? Yeah. Yes, it did, but I didn't bump into the oh, person. Oh, shit. So like deja vu, but like you knew that shit was coming. Yeah, then I knew it was coming. Instead of bumping, I just made a left turn. So it's like God is trying to tell you in a way. The superior one is telling so me. So can you have a dream that we're going to hit 1 million views on this podcast episode? I would love to have that. Not 1 million, but 1 trillion. That'd be awesome. But yeah, if we can't. Mm. The Nelk boys are awesome. Wait, wait. <laughs> well, fuck, man. Hmm? So you're telling me we're not what better? About the dream no, you guys are great too. Everybody's great in the way. But I'm a, I know their pranks are good. I meant to say. Oh yeah. I love their pranks. Like, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, would you ever run a prank? That's so funny, huh? bro. Recently, I just I just started doing pranks, right? Uh-huh. Like I've done like two so far. Would you do a prank with me? I would. Uh, like I've seen in India. Thank you, uncle. Thank you, auntie. Or you know, dressing up as an old man and dancing. Yo. Have you Have you watched this new prank? I saw it. It was at the m- store. Yeah. Yeah. No you open the box and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have guts. I don't. <laughs> no, but I used to work at that store. So I th- honestly, I didn't know Go that box. Go new video if you haven't. I didn't. I was actually, I thought I was helping them, but that box, that one box I picked was not supposed to be open. But you actually fucked them. Yeah. But you know, I was asking if I could take for dinner. Bing-ching. We didn't have dinner that night. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> That's Loki. you like, can I get sued for that? You know, it's like, it's like one thing I open and it's unusable now. Like, is that fucked? You probably funny. get charged, but I don't think they'll do it. No, bro. I'll just. I didn't mean to do it, man. Simple as that, right? That's yeah, you didn't mean to go in there and be a fake and blow you over the box. Fuck it. Yeah, I didn't. That wasn't my plan. It has happened. Yeah, the video. I, I was don't really in, in, 
interested in story experience. I didn't know who was recording, but yo, no frills you step their game up with security because uh, that was pretty easy for me. But we'll see what we do next. Next, um, but we talked about we we talked about like a fetish. So I'm wondering if any of you guys do you guys have any fetishes that I don't know about? Because he's my brother, I feel like I know. All right, let's. But hear, hear, hear let's hear this guy's first, man. You gotta ask everyone in the pod. Like honestly, think about it. Fetish doesn't have to be weird and disgusting. Be honest, man. Come on, keep it one hundred done. Like your ASMR, like it could be anything. Oh, that's okay. That's not a fetish, but like I guess you could. <laughs> I guess we could say it's a fetish. Uh, just like fuck, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I have a fetish for driving, like going for a drive. Everybody does. Yeah, like you I have to do drives. it. I feel you. See well, like, you know what I mean. Like when you're just like cruising, like by yourself, yeah. and the windows are down and yeah. the sun's out. It's a vibe, vibe like Tupac over here. Clears you know? your head. That's probably what he did back in the day too. Probably, and then, you know, other things happened. Oh, well, RP. What That's about you, man? What are your fetishes? Okay, I'm going to confess. Yes, I do have fetish. I have a Simpsons fetish. It's like, for me, fetish and like are same. So, Simpsons fetish, Family Guy fetish, Pokemon fetish, Disney Plus fetish, and what's it called? Oh, my God. That, and my driving fetish. Mm. Mm, Disney Plus. Fetish. I'm gonna say Pittsburgh Steelers fet- fetish as well, and a Vancouver Canucks fetish, and Toronto Raptors fetish. Yeah, Ooh. let's go Raptors and Canucks. They're trading Hold Pascal on. Siakam though. I know they're changing the whole team, man. I know he's going to Atlanta now. Yeah. Oh, it actually happened, or is it rumored? It's gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna hit the washroom. Okay, huh? you guys keep talking. Right? He's actually gone. He's being traded to Atlanta for a couple of players, draft picks. Oh my God, yo, Siakam's oh. gone, bro. Most likely now. Wait, what? what? Yeah, yeah. It's been. They've been talking about it for a while. Do you watch football? No, I don't. Would you ever watch football? I have to learn of the game. I wouldn't mind watching and learning about it. So. And then what about uh, the Canucks? What are you thoughts on the Canucks? I love the Canucks. I was even in their documentary. What really? Two thousand eight. What was it for? Uh, a Canucks diehard fan. Oh, you were there. You were in something. Yes, I was. Oh shit! How was that experience? Phenomenal. I got to. I used to play ice hockey too. So. Oh really? Well, and then what? What would they make you do in that documentary? Documentary. See why I'm a Canucks fan and. In my t- what's it, I'm, I was in movies and yeah. I felt like a superstar. Wow, that's actually like that's pretty sick. And uh, have you been, did you keep on with them last season? Canucks, yeah, they're terrible this season. And yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not Thatcher Demko. He's okay, nothing special. <sighs> you know who's good? The other guy, Artist Labels. I'm a big Demko fan. Demko, is I have good. a Demko jersey upstairs. I know, man. He didn't do that good this past season, but I just like. I know, goal. I understand. I love Roberto Luongo. Oh yeah, Luongo's a legend. I I think Canucks have always had good go- goalies, though. Mm-hmm. Always had good goalies a lot of the time. I know Ryan Miller was good too as a Canuck. Yeah, Eddie Lack was good, but they should have started Roberto Luongo instead of Eddie Lack, which sucks. You were you were pretty <laughs> young when like you were in a prime age when the the Stanley Cup happened. Yes, the final. How was that? Like, what was that I like was, for you? How old very, were you? In the 2010, yeah, uh, I was Boston one, and I hated it. I yeah. hate Boston players. Did you go? To, did you go to the riots? Were you no, the riots? I didn't. I was, there were riots happened. I was in India that time. Oh shit! When's the last time you went to India? Uh, 2000. What's it called? Shit. Uh, tw- 2022. Oh, you just went to India right now? Yeah, not right now, but last year. Like last year, where were you from in India? My parents are from Punjab, and I went to get myself a, another hair transplant. Oh yeah, oh, second so one, second one. So that was the second one. Yeah. So you did it twice. Oh, I started balding here. I got that fixed too. So now. you think you'll be doing any more in the future? Or you're good now. Sorry, I might get well, just a touch up in the future, near future. Mm. I'm 35. I want to because I want to look young. Because somebody told me I look like I was 23 years old. Really? Even though I got ID several times to buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. That makes me feel good. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. That's what a lot of people say when you get older. It's like you know those small things make you feel good. You know, it makes you feel younger. Mm-hmm. But he's going to hold his fucking bladder, eh? Yeah. That's okay. We keep it flowing. You know, natural vibes. Natural? Yeah, this is Dream Chase Podcast most natural shit of all time. Natural to the point. Talking about natural, um, what do you think about, like, do you like natural bodies on females or? Uh, natural, like funerals? Natural? On oh, no. females. Like, do you like BBLs? I am not judgmental. So you don't mind a BBL? The heart is fine as long as, if I were, let's say if I were, the person I like is, that's easy, yeah. I'm not shallow. And I, if anybody is shallow, that's not good, but it's your choice. The heart ma- matters too. And the compatibility, like a Marvel fan, DC fan, and yeah, Pokemon fan. And yeah, it matters about the soul and the interest. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind some plastic on your woman? I'm old school. Eh? So you don't, so you mind plastic? Not plastic, no. What about you? Do you mind a BBL? No. Like let's say a girl had a BBL. No. And it looked super fake, but her personality was perfect. If it looks super fake, oh, if her personality is perfect, no. But like, bro, imagine like her bro, thighs are like this small and her BBL sticking out like a square. I don't think I'd ever even get into an interaction with somebody's ass is yes, that big, bro. No, but what, why? 
You're scared because of fat ass. For me. First person ever is scared of fat ass. No, if you're saying where it's like like huge, huge, like I wouldn't talk. No, about I'm just. I'm not saying it's huge, huge, but I'm saying it's the thing it's is. Big what's ass, gonna first? Like the, the, it's off, like proportion. No, is but off. the thing is, the first thing that's gonna try, like, make me go up to a girl and start a conversation is gonna be her looks, right? I'm gonna find out about her personality after. So if I'm going up to her based off her looks in the first place, then that problem's not gonna come. Mm, snap for that. Indeed, indeed. Unless she came up to you, but you know, I don't want to exercise different. that conversation anymore. Sanju. Yo. Luke. Yo. I just want to know. I just want to. Since we're talking about already some girls and some a little bit of the. Are you a virgin? Me. If you don't mind sharing. I don't mind at all. No, I'm not a virgin because what's it called? My life? bro. No, you know why? Life fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. Wait. Life. Not, like, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Like, that's life, like all my life, like. Since I was a child, teenager, adult, yeah. life just bent you over and just whoa, yeah, one, life one, me one. Up. But yes. it's it, it, that's what shaped who you are today, right? Mm, sadly, yes. Mm. It shaped that asshole, goddamn it, gaping, goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but like actually though, life. No, that's life fucked me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're double downing on it. Okay, I, I won't even question it. Yeah. Um, sorry, man. Life fucks everyone, but you know it's about persevering through. You know, and yeah. probably anal prepping next time. We'll see uh, where my life goes. Yeah, we'll see yeah. if you ain't no prep next time. You know, probably use a little bit of loop. You could help you out. Yeah. You know, butt no. plug, I have one upstairs, Crystal. What's, what is that? I got you, no problem. Hello Kitty. What? Yep. <laughs> what about you, man? <laughs> no? Uh, no, I'm not a vision. Uh, yeah. What do you fuck, man? Pocket pussy? Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. You found the one in my room, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did you hear what he said? No. Oh. He said he fucks pocket pussy and I found the one in his room. I don't know what that is, but okay. let's get off pocket pussy, man. Um, Sanju, I wanted your opinion and your opinion on something. I'll go with you first, though. Um, I'm dropping a cologne soon, all right? Cologne. And I have a sample, like you know, cologne, spray uh-huh. cologne. I have a sample. I wanted you to smell it and let me know if you if it smells good. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll just spray it real quick. I have a sample. Like I brought, I got a little paper. I'll spray it on the paper. Mm-hmm. Starting a cloning business, clone business. Yeah, like I'm seeing, like I, I really mess with cologne a lot, and I feel like having a good scent really makes a man. Mm-hmm. So I'm like. I'll start a clone. Why not? You know. Mm-hmm. So you're just gonna smell this for me, all right? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna do a little squirt. Oh wow, that's a big that's squirt! A, oh. Just smell that for me. Mm. Oh, what's wrong? No, it's not a good smell. Actually, smell it again. No, hold on. It takes a second to like go into the paper and get the actual smell. Smell. It. Give it a hard whiff. Good one. Give it. Mm. Let me let me smell it. No, no, I'm not gonna know. Let no. me smell it. Right. No, you gotta go. I did that. Yeah, smells. No, no, you didn't. Let you let lied. I sw- I, no, let I swear. Smell. No, you didn't, bro. No, Sanjay, you're, you're lying to me, bro. Oh, okay, second time meeting, you're lying. <laughs> like that. I'll do it after you. No. Yeah, let me. Let me. What? Let me you don't like the smell. I won't. I don't like it. Let me see. Bro, it's good, right? He told me it's supposed to be good. Well, it's supposed to be like a lavender mixed that's with. That's not lavender. That's lavender mixed with raspberry. Bro, it smells really good. Yeah. It smells like it's more lavender than raspberry, though, for sure. Yeah, see, I'm still trying to finalize the recipes. Wait, like, you don't like the. No, 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 sorry. You don't get, you don't get the lavender? I'll just put it here. Then, yeah, I'll put it here. Like it. Yeah, sorry. <coughs> Why, man? Like, this is. I call this. Uh, Yavrosh. Nah. I'm That's actually a pretty sick name. Yavrosh. <laughs> All the white people call me Yavrosh. 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 They call me Yavrosh, so I put a little spaz on it. Yavrosh. Bye, UV. This is an odd bottle for cologne, man. Oh, this is not the cl- this is liquid ass, bro. I knew it, yeah, <laughs> bro. I give you the wrong one, my man. No well, I thought it smelled like lavender. Why'd you like it, brother? <laughs> it smelled like lavender. <laughs> nah, I'd I'd do that to you. <laughs> I know, I know. I I knew the smell. So wait, what? Just, I knew the smell. That's just meeting that BBL Dookie. Yeah. Okay. I knew everything because my buddy was in a, a cologne business too, so. Oh my god, it smells like shit, bro. bro it oh actually my. smells so bad. So, how did you take three whiffs of that shit? You're a freaky bun- bunda, Respect bro. Respect to you for smelling that. <laughs> how, how bad did your turkey smell the word? Do you smell like that or is like that's horrible? <laughs> I just smelled my finger, dude. How did you smell that three times? No, no it's not that bad off for the For you, paper. I could do anything. So you said try it three times and I said, okay. Out of brotherhood. Yeah, man, he, Yo, he trusted I just, you. Bro, I just like bre- breathe in when like he this. He trusted you. Drink some of your Red Bull. Whoever's oh, listening, yeah. I just gave him, I just acted like that was cologne. It was actual liquid ass spray. Spray it on a paper. Bro, oh my God, that smells like ass. Like, I'm actually, like, oh, I'm actually shaking up, yo. I need some water after that. Jeez Louise, man. 
I can't tell if you're acting or not. No, no, I actually like bumps it like, like that. Smelled your worse. eyes are watery. <laughs> like, bro, like, like that high key smelt worse than like regularly smelling. That's what your why. shit smells like every morning, bro. I smell <laughs> it. <sighs> Sanju, uh. Yes. <laughs> I was just turning out of soul. Let's see. Next thing. Next thing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If you could give me a. Okay, since you thought I was Greek and this is our second time meeting. Let's act like this is our first 57 minutes meeting, even though we met for okay, like yes. two hours before. If you could give me a nickname in this first hour of us meeting, what would it be? Mm, by the looks and your nice skin. Uh, <laughs> nice give you a nickname? Skin? Yeah, give me a nickname. Uh, You've only known me for an hour. I don't want to g- offend you. No, no, it's okay. Don't no, you could offend me. You don't have to be nice. Say anything. Uh, your name would be Adam. Why? Because uh, there was a long time ago, 1997, there was a Power Ranger who had curly hair too, and his name is Adam. Adam 22? No, his name is, <laughs> no, no, Adam, G- Green Ranger. Adam 22, the guy who let his wife get fucked by a BBC. No, 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 this is Power Rangers. But you call me a cock right no, now. Adam from Power Rangers Turbo. 07, brother. Yeah, he has, it's a good car, then it turns into a Zord. I can see you as Adam. You definitely look, oh, look like as Adam. Adam. Like you're a white person. I'm a Jigraj, j- right? I'm a Jigraj. What about you? If you could give me a nickname and you didn't know me for 19 years of me living, um, and you just, just knew me for this hour, this hour. Your whole life. No, but think about this hour to now. A nickname. It could be like, it doesn't have to be like an actual name, like a nickname. The you zesty know? motherfucker. <laughs> zesty motherfucker, bro. <laughs> That's a straight fucking statement, bro. I don't have a fucking nickname. <laughs> Sanju, if I could give you a nickname. Um, Jeeves. Where did that come from? What the hell? Jeeves. My name is San Jeeves, so people call me Jeeves. No, but like not related to your name. I'm gonna just give you a nickname based on your personality and me knowing you for an hour. Go on then, lad. Come on. Go on then. Give him one. If I'm looking at you from your appearance and me knowing you for an hour, I'm gonna call you Baldy. Sweet. <laughs> Damn, bro. Rad, rad, rad. Yeah, no, I'm gonna call you. Uh, Yeah, they go to the way we get the fuck. No, I'm gonna call you Baldy. I try to think of a nice. No name. worries, that's cool. <laughs> as long as you're that's happy. That's Coach V's real name, though. Baldy, Bald V? Bald V, bro. Did you see, like, what's it called? They were thinking of starting a GoFundMe for him for a hair transplant? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Carm said that in one of the videos. No oh way, bro. Oh my god. No, That'd be hilarious, yo. I don't even think he'd get a hair transplant no. even if he could. He no, doesn't want it. He's a cool guy. So let's talk about mental health, you know? I feel like, you know, you've been a lot of. You've been vocal about that on your TikTok. Yes. So, I mean, do you have anything, any advice for somebody who's struggling Down. in their life at this moment? Because it's not on. No, no, it is, it is. It is. You're not going to be able to hear it. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. My advice to all the b- younger people who are, because I have a lot of followers around the world, like, because I have fans in Germany and what's it called? In Saskatchewan, Ontario, Calgary, Edmonton. I know you guys are younger than me. One advice to you is don't listen to anybody because they'll try to bring you down no matter what. With my life experience, I shouldn't have listened to anybody. When I was a teenager, I think, no, when I was 12 years old, I wanted to be a ad- veterinarian for animals because I'm an animal lover and they're my passion. Dog lover, man. Dog lover. Dog and lover, 8891. Yep. <laughs> and that's why I, I represent dogs and people, what's it called, kept on bringing me down. They're like, no, 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 you're not going to be a vet. You can't do anything in life. Take care of your family's business. You're behind the world already. You can't do anything in life. Don't waste your life and then... I listened to them and fell right hard on my face for years. If I was a vet right now, I would be very happy healing dogs, treating cats, and I'd go to India, fly to India, and treat every single ho- sp- sp- every dog in India like street dog for free. And yes, I would have been a very good vet. Not to sound cocky, but yeah, don't listen to anybody. And if you, where's the camera? You can look at that one. <clears throat> okay, if you are listening, look at me here. Don't listen to anybody. And if anybody comes compares you, and in the Indian culture, they compare you a lot. Like, you know, or people brag about their kids. Oh, my kid is doing this. Oh, my kid got a great high-paying job. Oh, my kid has a brand new car. And if there's a saying, whoever is trying to bring you down is... See this, it's a foot already beneath you. So they're beneath your feet. So just follow your dream. And if you want to be a vet, be a vet. And if you want to be, what's it called? A nurse, be a nurse. And don't listen to anybody because put it in one ear, take it out in that ear. So and you're the person who's people that are watching, you're superior, you're loved, you're marvelous, you're you. Don't be a carbon copy. Be you and don't listen to anybody. Follow your heart.
That was really good, yeah. yeah. That was really good advice, honestly. That was great, yo, yeah. bro. Dream chasers, bro. That was like, that's what her, that's what her name's about. That's what the, everything you said there. Yeah, I really Dream chaser, yeah. yeah. Maybe next life I would like to. Then I'll be a vet because this life I can. It'll take me twelve years just to become a vet. Yeah, it yeah. takes time. Man. A lot of time. Because yeah. if I would have done it when I was what eighteen, then it would no problem. But I'm thirty five. It's not gonna happen. So forty five. Forty. Mm. I'll be forty seven when I become a vet. So it's not worth it. Yeah. You, could, you could live that dream through preaching. You know your. What you've learned. I learned a lot. That's a, my experience in life because I love animals dearly. And if I see on the news anybody that abuses a dog or anything, I lose my rage and I want to find that person and teach them a lesson of a lifetime with my own bare like, hands. Like John Wick style. <coughs> John Wick style. Because in 2000, what's it called, 13, uh, a, a guy beat up his dog, German Shepherd named Captain, yeah. threw him in the dumpster and he only got 10 months in jail. What the fuck? Yeah, that's nah. so. That's that is not. Is, it's like a slap is. to the wrist. Yeah, but yeah. he's in jail for life, which is good because he killed one of his relatives. Oh fuck! But I would, if there was a UFC fight or anything, I would like to be with him in the cage. Yeah, it starts with animals. Animals, bro. Like that one. People uh, that are in that mindset. Yeah, yeah. that the one documentary on like the the don't don't fuck with cats. It's like he's killing cats at first, and then he starts killing people. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. shit, man. So if like, like if any animal abuser out there, even kick dogs, they, I lose my mind. I don't care if I go to jail or anything, but yeah, hitting a dog or any other animal, you're on my bad list. Yeah, hundred percent, man. So Leverage, just don't tell him about that one time. That's <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> dogs are God. Like turn it around, God. Oh, yeah. yo, G. And then G-O-D. Oh, shoot. I, yeah. Dude, like, yo, dogs are like, bro. Like, Tyson. What do you just like lock eyes with a dog? Like, when I lock eyes with this guy, it's like, yo, there's like a soul in there. Yeah, soul. It's not just a dog. It's not just an animal. <coughs> We're all like the same at the end of the day. We all have a soul. We're all the same. Yeah. You know? Have you um, have you had any past relationships? Yes, I have. But they've lost it very, very short in my, when I was in my 18s and my 20s. Yeah, how come? How, like, what would be the reason why? Like Very short. It lasted, actually couple days or a couple of weeks or a couple hours they just weren't the one for you just felt like that way no that way yeah because when i was in my 20s uh some of them don't like marvel then goodbye and if you don't like pokemon goodbye <laughs> if you don't like batman then goodbye so yeah so you stick to what you like and you want to yeah. find somebody that and likes Poco, the same yeah. things some same things same similarities and yeah yeah non-judgmental so that's me that was when i was in 2021 or 22 yeah nice. damn so do you do you have any regrets or it's like you know you did what you did <laughs> Like this for uh, both people, uh, everyone here. In anything in life, anything. yeah, like anything. just I regret not becoming a vet, but it's maybe too late now. But maybe next life I'll become a vet. And my only regret is I just wish I was in India too several times because so many bad news happening there too, like the assaults and everything. And you've yeah. heard about the Damani case? I don't oh. know exactly which case. Yeah, she was about. what's it called? She was raped and by a couple of guys and yeah. bus, and yeah, she died. And, I wish I was in that bus. I would have done something to those guys. Yeah, hundred percent. You have a good heart, man. You're genuine. You're That's heart. why you know we wanted to talk to you, and yes. we could. I think being every, honest, yeah, everyone could feel that through your TikToks, man. I, I think, think. Yeah, bro, the people that hate on you, like they even know that you're a pure person and pure hearted, but they're just gonna hate because, like you said, they're they're below you, right? Yeah, so me, like yeah. ants, and it's not ants, but you know, like dust. Yeah, hundred percent. Just getting in the way. They're getting in the way of your path. So, you know, I feel like just to end the pod on a good note, mm -hmm. um, I mean, the whole pod was great, but like just motivational and great inspirational, pod. just, you know, listen to Sanju, chase your dreams, you know, um, don't, don't listen, listen to anybody. anybody. Yeah. Don't listen <coughs> to anybody that's trying to bring you down. Listen to people that are uplifting yeah. and, uh, you know, think about what you want to do, focus on your goals and don't let even your parents or your friends tell you you can't do it because at the end of the day, everyone who's achieved their goal there's a point in their life where they have to start from zero and they built their way up, you know, so and you could do stick, it. Stick to your morals and values and don't let that be your foundation for anything. And 100%. treat others the way you want to be treated. If you treat bad, you get bad. If you treat good, you get great. Indeed. That's Dream Shoes Podcast, episode 44. And, you know, follow Sanju on the TikTok. Uh, Dog Lover 891. And I'm going to make a YouTube channel too now. Oh, and yeah. YouTube, if you make it, we'll link it. And then in the bio, um, follow All us, subscribe. All the links are going to be in the bio. And from my heart to your heart, Jeho. Jeho. Jeho, bro.